All right, 2.3 now, 2.3. And with 2.3, we're talking about quick graphs of linear equations and examples. So we're going to start off with finding the x and y intercept, which is a way to find uh, uh, quick graphs sometimes. Um, so when doing this, to find the x and y intercept, basically, here's what you're going to do. To find the x and y intercept, it's about substitution. Okay. To find, look at it like this, x and y and x and y. Maybe this will look a little easier for you when you see it this way. I want to find x in this one, right? Since I want to find x, this is how you would find the x-intercept. The x-intercept is by making y equal 0. I want to find out what y is, right? So this is how you find the y-intercept. Find the y-intercept is by making x equal 0. So what does that mean? That means if I plug in x is 0 here, that means I got a 0 there, which means y equals negative 5. So negative 5 is your intercept for y. To find out what x is, the x-intercept, I make 0 for y. So to solve that equation, I need to get the number onto one side. So the opposite of subtraction is addition. So I add 5 to both sides to get 5 equals negative 3x. To get x by itself, since it's multiplication, I divide both sides by negative 3. So I end up getting um, negative 5 thirds as my answer. And there's your x-intercept. Find the slope and the y-intercept of a line. Well, in order to do that, you need to make sure you have it in the form y equals mx plus b. And just so you understand, this b, that is the y-intercept. I don't know why I keep doing that. And this is your slope. So you got to remember that when you're doing this. I need to get it into that form first, so that means I need to get y by itself. So in order to do that, I'm going to subtract a 5x onto both sides. All right, and I subtract it because this is a positive 5. So that's gone, meaning I have negative 4y equals negative 5x plus 20. To get y by itself, negative 4 times y divide by negative 4. So that means I divide everything by negative 4. What that means is I can divide each item by negative 4. So negative 5 divided by negative 4 is 5 over 4, because the negatives cancel out. 20 divided by negative 4 is negative 5. This right here, this is your y-intercept. And this over here, the number in front of the x is your slope. To do this problem, since it's a positive 3, I need to subtract a 3x onto both sides. So when I do that, that's gone. I have negative 7y equals negative 3x plus 42. Then, uh, since it's multiplication, I divide both sides by a negative 7. And that means that cancels out. So all I have left is a y equals negative 3 divided by negative 7 is positive 3 over 7. And you have an x left over. 42 divided by negative 7 is negative 6, which means this is your y-intercept out there, and this is your slope. Find the slope and the y-intercept of the line. We just did that, so I think you saw two examples of that already. All right, now, quick graphs. All right, same thing. This is why we just did that. It's a positive 2, right? We can't graph this until we get... Um, y by itself. So I'm going to subtract a 2y on both sides. Or sorry, not 2y, a 2x. So I end up getting negative 4y equals negative 2x minus 8. So since it's multiplication, I now divide by a negative 4 on both sides. i got to divide everything. So I get y equals negative 2 divided by negative 4 is like saying 2 over 4x negative 8 divided by negative 4 is positive 2 and I can actually simplify this to get y equals 1 over 2x plus 2. 
So here's how you do this. When you go to graph, this is your y-intercept. So you go to your y, and at 2, I start at the middle, I go up 1, 2, and I put a point. Pew, there it is. This is your slope. What this means is it's rise over run. Your slope is rise over run, which means when you're talking about rise over run, rise means you're either going up or down, and run means you're going left and right. Since it's a positive 1, that means I'm going up. Since it's a positive 2, that means I'm going right. So I go up 1 and right 2 from that point. Up 1, right 2, up 1, right 2, up 1, right 2. You can also do the reverse. Since it's a positive 1 over 2, you could also do the reverse, which is down 1 and left 2, down 1, left 2, down 1, left 2, down 1, left 2. If you connect all your points with a straight line, which is what I'm attempting to do here, you have yourself a straight line. And there's the quick graph. So trying to do this one. Um, we will finish up some quick graphs when we come back, though.